Hi everyone! Welcome back to the refrigerator. Today we are going to read Dragons Love Tacos by Adam Rubin, illustrated by Daniel Salmier. Hey kid! Did you know that dragons love tacos? They love beef tacos and chicken tacos. They love really big gigantic tacos and tiny little baby tacos as well. Why do dragons love tacos? Maybe it's the smell from the sizzling pan. Maybe it's the crunch of the crispy tortillas. Maybe it's a secret. Either way, if you want to make friends with dragons, tacos are key. Hey dragon, why do you guys love tacos so much? But wait! As much as dragons love tacos, they hate spicy salsa even more. They hate spicy green salsa and spicy red salsa. They hate spicy chunky salsa and spicy smooth salsa. If the salsa is spicy at all, dragons can't stand it. Why do dragons hate spicy salsa? Well, just one drop of hot sauce makes a dragon's ears smoke. Just one single speck of hot pepper makes a dragon snort sparks. Spicy salsa gives dragons the tummy troubles. And when dragons get the tummy troubles, oh boy. If you want to make tacos for dragons, keep the toppings mild. Tomato, lettuce, cheese, these are all good toppings for tacos for dragons. Hey dragon. How do you feel about spicy taco toppings? Dragons love parties. They like costume parties and pool parties. They like big gigantic parties with accordions and tiny little parties with charades. Why do dragons love parties? Maybe it's the conversation. Maybe it's the dancing. Maybe it's the comforting sound of a good friend's laughter. The only thing dragons love more than parties or tacos is taco parties. Taco parties are parties with tacos. If you want to have some dragons over for a taco party, you'll need buckets of tacos. Pant loads of tacos. The best way to judge is to get a boat and fill the boat with tacos. That's about how many tacos dragons need for a taco party. After all, dragons love tacos. Hey dragon, are you excited for the big taco party? Just remember, dragons hate spicy salsa. Before you host your taco party with dragons, get rid of all the spicy salsa. In fact, bury the spicy salsa in the backyard so the dragons can't find it. These dragons love your taco party. They love the music, they love the decorations, they especially love the tacos. Congratulations! It's a good thing you got rid of all that spicy, wait a second! What are those little green things in the salsa? You didn't read the fine print? Totally mild salsa, now with spicy jalapeno peppers. Dragons, listen to me, don't eat those tacos. Those little green specks in the salsa, salsa, those are jalapeno peppers. They are super spicy. I know you love tacos, dragon, dragons, but you are not gonna love those tacos. Don't let the dragons eat those tacos. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Why would dragons help you rebuild your house? Maybe they're good Samaritans. Maybe they feel bad for wrecking it. Maybe they're just in it for the taco breaks. After all, dragons love tacos. Now let's get ready to draw a dragon. All right, drawing a dragon isn't gonna be super easy, but it's gonna be super fun. So let's do it together. Remember, it took me a bunch of times practicing to draw this dragon, so if you make a little mistake, it's 
put erasers in for. All right, here we go. First thing you're going to do is draw a line in the middle of your paper. And then you're going to draw a big bubble on top. Just like that. That looks like a taco. Then you're going to draw from the back here a backward C shape. And then another backward C shape. Like that. Kind of like a moon. We're going to come over here. We're going to do the same thing. Like the crescent shapes, they're just going to be wider and short. So we're going to go up, and then we're going to come out here and do it again. Now we're going to draw our dragon's head. We're going to draw almost a right. We're going to draw the top, the side. We're going to draw the bottom this side, but then we're going to come in and curve down. Like the next step we're going to do is we are going to draw kind of like an L shape. We're going to, from the top, you're going to go out and over, just like that. I'm going to do that two times. Out. And on your tail, you're going to draw a triangle. Kind of give him a spiky end to his tail. You can take your eraser and erase inside there if you want. The next thing we are going to do is give our dragon some legs. You're going to draw backward C, uh, C's again, just like this. Just like the plan. And then draw a line here. And backward C's again here. And, I care? and then you're going to draw two lines down here and connect them at the bottom. And two lines down here and connect those at the bottom as well. Again, you can take your eraser and erase these lines. Next thing we're going to do is give our dragon some, some eyes. So we're going to give him two circles here. We're also going to, going to give him some ears, which are just going to be triangles next to our circles. And then you can color in. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to finish the wings. The way we're going to do that is from the middle of your slanted L, you're gonna draw one line and then another line, just like that. Now you're gonna do the same thing here. And then you're going to take your crayon or your pencil and connect those. All right, we're gonna give them a nose and some teeth. Teeth are just going to be triangles inside the little curve of his mouth. We're going to give him some claws at the bottom of his feet. Again, just some triangles on your lines. Very good. All right, now we want to give our dragon some scales. The way we're going to do that is we're going to just draw a couple squares inside of his body. Just like this. And you can give him as many scales as you want. Alright. Now we're going to give our dragon some spikes. Again, simple triangles all along his head and his neck and around his back. Just triangles. You can draw them as fast or as slow as you want. I like to go up and down, up and down, up and down. You don't really have to give your triangles 
bottoms because we have that already here on his back. And you want to give his tail some spice too, right? Or not. That's up to you. And of course, the last thing that our dragon needs is some fire. So for the fire, you can draw it however you want. I'm going to draw a backward C again, coming out, just like this. I'm running out of room. That's okay. And we'll just give a little sparkles. I put some triangles here at the end of my fire. And that's it. Now you're going to ask that grown-up to come and get a Sharpie or a marker to trace your work. Alright, now we're going to color our dragon. You can color your dragon any color you want. I'm going to use some greens and purples. Maybe some pinks and yellows. See? Why should I care? Oh, when things are looking up, just like a plan. Now we are going to do the background. Again, you can do however you want. I do have my watercolor, so that's what I'm going to use. But color it, give him some landscape, maybe some mountains. If you're feeling really creative, you could draw some tacos back there. Everybody's changing and I feel so left out by the sound of you changing too. Alright my friends, don't forget to write your name and date it. you had fun at the refrigerator today don't forget to send in your pictures to refrigerator123 at gmail.com five artworks we'll get you a special button i'll see you guys next time